I have made a severe and continuous lapse of my judgment and I don't expect to be forgiven. I'm simply here to apologize. I'm kidding. Bad Logan Paul apology video reference aside, last week I made a video in which I created a crypto token for the purpose of showing people just how easy it is to create one of these meme tokens, implying that they really should not be trusted since anyone can create one and run away with your money. And so what happened? People ended up buying the fluffy coin token I created as the example of why you shouldn't buy them in the video. And now, just a week later, you can open the Coinbase app on your phone, type in fluffy on the search bar, and check the price of this coin on Coinbase. Millions of dollars of volume later, I think this is just way too interesting and too big of a thing not to make a full follow-up video on. So we're gonna talk numbers, how much I made, a rug pull, everything that happened, and the future of Fluffy Coin. Okay, so I made the Joe coin last week, uploaded the video about it on Saturday, and just went out to grab some food right after. It was with a friend, so I wasn't on my phone for a while after uploading. I was obviously checking in on how the video was performing, but wasn't even really thinking about the coin. Like around an hour after uploading, I checked my Instagram DMs, and it's a bunch of people telling me, yo, I just made this much of fluffy coin, fluffy to the moon, all kinds of wacky, fluffy things. People were claiming to have made thousands of dollars like an hour or two after the video went live. So I checked Pancake Swap, which is where I initially bought my own coin to test it out. And based on the conversion rate of Fluffy to BNB, I could tell right away that the price went up significantly. So man, people must have been buying it up. Which at that point I realized, oh no, I never tested selling the coin. I bought some for the video, but what if all these people are buying in and won't be able to sell? You right to jail, believe it or not, jail right away. So I sold about a hundred bucks worth of it on the spot. And thankfully it did go through and I could see that people can get their money back. The next big thing that happened was someone DM me the website PooCoin dot app, which I was able to paste the fluffy coin contract address into and now could see the graph of the coin, which was so cool. I didn't think I'd really be able to get to this point, but apparently any coin you have the contract address to, you can paste and this website generates a live graph. The other cool thing was I can now also see the price and market cap of the coin because before I just knew it went up because of the conversion rate of fluffy to BNB and having this live graph of a token I just launched and seeing the price was honestly kind of crazy. Anyways, now we're two hours into the video being live. I could see the fluffy market cap on the poopy coin website which was sitting at around five hundred thousand dollars now if you remember when i was creating the token i had to provide some liquidity for it to be tradable so i put up 600 million fluffy tokens and three thousand dollars worth of bnb to create this pair where i could then go in and buy fluffy using bnb or sell bnb for fluffy and that wasn't like a premeditative thought through process i just had three thousand dollars in ethereum on a wallet from i believe some nfts i was randomly sent and then sold something like that so i just tossed that into the liquidity pool to see what happens. I put up 600 million of the total billion up for sale, so 60% did the test by uploaded the video. But now that people started buying the coin, which I didn't tell anyone to do, and I'm definitely not saying you should buy it now, but it's kind of a really bad look that I have 400 million fluffy token or 40% of the whole thing sitting in a wallet I can easily access. At a market cap of over $500,000, which was just two hours after the video went live, that 400 million fluffy coin in my wallet was worth close to a quarter million dollars. Now throughout the day, even more people started trading the coin and when I was going to sleep, the market cap was around $800,000, making the fluffy coin in my wallet worth well over $300,000. I woke up the next day, figured people trolled around, bought and sold the coin. It's probably way down. No way this monster that I created survived the night. I checked the PP Poo Poo Coin website, $2 million, $2 million market, market cap. <laughs> Making my 400 million fluffy coin wallet worth $820,000 overnight. Before we keep going, here's the thing to realize about this number. There's no way I'm selling it because that would mean me taking the money of all the people who bought into the token. But also, even if I did try to sell off, selling that much fluffy coin 40% of the market would crash the whole thing so it wouldn't be possible for me to sell all of it at that inflated price so two quick disclaimers there because throughout that Sunday a lot of things happened first off the price kept on climbing fluffy coin hit a three million dollar market cap and then I think the top was at around four million dollars so if we do the math 400 million fluffy tokens in my wallet multiplied by a price of 0 0.004 and we're sitting at a 1.6 million dollar rug pull opportunity baby but also 
apparently a group of fluffy coin holders gathered, created a development team, their own group chats that they already had like a couple thousand members in when I found out about it. And this was not my doing. I'm not the owner or founder of any of these group chats. I can't control them. Like I wasn't doing or organizing anything. Like I showed in the initial video, I do own the official Twitter that I created and the Instagram account, but that's it. All the Telegram group chats, the Reddit stuff, none of that, none of that is me. At this point, the community took over and they even got the token listed on a bunch of popular coin trackers. The main one being coinmarketcap.com, which is not like a super crazy exclusive thing, but when you search up any major crypto, let's say Ethereum, for example, usually the first tracking website and really one of the first results that pops up is the coin market cap listing. It's also on CoinGecko, which is another big tracking website, and you can't buy it on these tracking websites, but you can view the price and whatnot. But finally, the craziest part, you can also see the price of fluffy coin on Coinbase. I believe someone from the group chats emailed them and it got on there. Honestly, not sure exactly how it happened, but I can go on the Coinbase app right now, search for Fluffy Coin and view the price of it. You obviously can't trade it on there, but it's still crazy. And so that brings us to today, five days since the video went live, the Fluffy Coin market cap has crashed back down to a million dollars and it's kind of been steadily trading along that level. So I figured this is super interesting. I should do something with it. It's kind of too big to ignore and I, I don't think there's a way to just delete it now. But before we get into what I want to do next, I want to preface with the fact that you should not buy this coin. It's not an investment. It's stupid. If you buy it, you're probably going to lose all of your money. Let me translate this to the language of the apes. Fluffy coin, not moon. But it is a really educational experience. Like I've learned so much about crypto in the last couple of weeks from this, and it's incredibly fascinating. So I kind of want to keep doing stuff with this coin. Okay, that, that sounds bad. Seriously, I'm not saying buy it because I'm going to do stuff with it. I just think it's a fun educational project. So full transparency, I currently have the 400 million tokens that we're going to work on locking up. The 11 million fluff I bought during last video to check if it works. And the only other transaction that happened before the video went live was a friend who was helping me with some of the actual camera filming of last video they bought around 100 bucks worth of it to also kind of test it out just for the trolls and then like i said earlier i did sell that 100 or so bucks worth of fluff to test if the selling works after uploading the video and then i bought back in with that money so that's my full fluff history there was no ill intentions i mean i only provided three grand for the liquidity pool so i think someone could have easily came in there and bought a majority of the total supply for a few thousand so this wasn't like a thought through devious lick type of plan and again could have slowly sold off that huge wallet or even the coins that i bought in the video but i didn't because this was not meant to be a rug pull scheme oh it went to zero yeah I mean, truthfully, I guess there's no way to prove that because if I was going to do a rug pull, I wouldn't be stupid about it. I could have just made a bunch of different wallets and bought the coin with them like a few minutes after the video went live. So it would look like viewers bought it. And then you could send the coins through a Tumblr, which would mix up all of the transactions. So it would be very difficult to track it back down to me. Could then also figure out a way to launder the money through some NFTs so that I, I could even say, hey, IRS, just an honest man here, really an art connoisseur of sorts selling some JPEGs. I'll even give you your fair share, everything is legal and then i'd use this reported income to my benefit to borrow even more money but the risk to reward ratio on that kind of move for me would not make sense even at a four million market cap and if i were to commit to a rug pull i would do that and market it anonymously not through a youtube video with my face in it telling people why they shouldn't buy into meme tokens so currently i have access to 40 percent of the supply in a regular wallet if you see this statistic on a coin it's a major red flag it's probably a rug pull so what a lot of tokens will do to build trust is lock their wallet so that they don't have access to all of these coins and it's actually a pretty easy process someone from the group chat sent me some videos about it i went on dxsale.app connected my wallet and locked 300 million tokens for a couple years just like that so now if i go on my wallet i only have 100 million and that was because the people in the group chats also recommended i keep five percent for building out utility and five percent for marketing kind of made sense in the moment but i thought about it after the fact and using that money is taking it way too far because i'd have to sell and take profit off this coin in order to use that money for building utility so instead i'm just gonna burn these tokens which means they are gonna be removed from circulation by sending it to an address that no one can 
axes. I found this one online that is pretty commonly used for this kind of thing and sent the remaining 100 million fluff over there. Now, 300 mil is locked up and the rest of that wallet was burnt. But I then also used the same website to lock up the liquidity money I provided so I can't rug pull it that way either, which kind of sucks because I don't think I can get my three grand out without people losing money. Next up, I sat down and had to fix the website because I was trolling heavily last video, put Soldier Boy and a number of other people on the team section, which I think is kind of funny, but it's, it's not cool towards the people on that team. Even though it's a joke, it's a bad look for them, so I removed that section, and while I was doing that, I ended up rebuilding a few elements of the website, so here's how it looks like now. The community around Fluff Token seems very active, which is cool. It's crazy how they got the token on all the tracking websites but I don't know the legalities behind the things that they're doing again not associated with them I didn't organize any of this but given that this is almost even out of my control like I'm not the one who got it listed on all these trackers and on coinbase I'm not the one who's spamming comments everywhere about fluff coin I felt that I should explain that as well as lock up those funds and remove potential liabilities with having those people listed as the team on the coin website. Moving forward, I think it'd be cool to actually do something with this or try some sort of experiment or try implementing new code into the contract. I don't know if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments what I should do with this because I don't think it's possible to just delete it now. But either way, hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Peace. Trying to make it on the crypto island. Trying to make it on the crypto island. Go to the top.